How's it going guys, Derek here, and in this video we're going to be going over how to control your audio devices on Linux with Pavu Control. Now, I don't know if that's exactly how you pronounce it, but that's how I've always called it, so that's what it's going to be pronounced as. So, let me zoom in here. There are two different apps for Pavu Control. There's the Qt version, and then there's the GTK version. So let me show you what I'm talking about. So we do app search, Pavu Control, we can see there is the regular version and now this is the version you would install if you're using the gnome desktop or cinnamon or something like that something that doesn't look like kde and if you're using kde you would install this one now i've been known to install this one by accident on kde they look exactly the same and uh for the sake of this demonstration i'm going to install both and uh to install on ubuntu you would do sudo apt install pavu control uh, please check the link down below if you use a different OS and we go over how to install it for that as well. Enter your password and you can get that installed. It'll go through quickly, get all the stuff that you need. And um, now we can search for Pavu Control. Now, as you can see, I've got uh, I've got two different results here. So one of these is a QT version and one of these is the GTK version. They both do the same thing, but let's open up both just for the sake of, uh, you know. So this one, as you can see, looks more normal on my desktop because it's using Qt stuff, and this one is GTK, so it sticks out a little bit more. Um, so let's start by explaining what this can do. So you go to the playback, I have Spotify. Now I can't turn it on because I'm recording, but if I wanted to manage my Spotify playback or if I wanted to manage anything else that's playing audio in this area, I can quickly just go to the playback tab and turn the volume up and down. Same thing for recording. You can see my voice is recording through this, and if I need to turn the voice down in the recording or turn it up, I can quickly go here and I can manage it. I can also swap out the microphone at any time. Of course, if I do that, you're gonna, it's gonna sound weird, so I'm not gonna bother with messing with that, but that's where you go over here. You can also unlock this and you can change the front and front left and front right channel. Uh, you can also mute it entirely and we go to output devices. This is the default sound card I'm using. Right now I have it at at uh, about 46%, which is negative 20 decibels. If I want it on an even 50, I could drag it right here. I could also set it to 100, and there are advanced settings as well, like the latency offset. And uh, that's how that part works. We also have input devices. Now input, it's the same thing as output. So in, uh, output, you have uh, speakers input you have the microphone once again i have my microphone set up here and it's at the bass sound setting so it's at about 40 percent decibels if i want it at full decibels it'll peak and it'll sound bad i can change it over here and the front microphone input port i can set to silence bass or 100 percent i can also mute this entirely i can change defaults and uh, we can also uh, we can also configure sound cards in this this is my this is why this is one of my most used applications because i have many different sound cards and uh, I have a USB sound card in my hand right here. So I can plug this USB sound card in and it'll instantly be detected here. I can enable or disable the sound card. I can do the same thing with my USB microphone. I can change the input. I can change the duplex in my sound controller to just output. I can change it to digital stereo output. And I can do the same thing with this HDMI over here. What I would recommend is always turn off the sound cards you're not using because if you're using a bunch of sound devices, Linux is just gonna go around and skip to whatever it wants to. So if you only, if you go here and you specifically set it, so like I have this set to analog mono input only, it can't try to use it as a speaker. And same thing right here, this is only uh, set to duplex. So that's just how Pavu Control works. It's a great volume manager, one of my favorites. I definitely recommend checking it out. Hope you guys enjoy this video and I will see you in the next one.